have learned this year watching through the slides uh, was uh, enjoyable for me I remember the first day of school and uh, it's been fun to watch them mature and grow and, and develop uh, all around uh, and just to uh, be reminded of the things they've been learning uh, as I saw the different activities they were doing and seasons of the year uh, so I want to say thank you for uh, sending your children here to our school and uh, we're happy that we've been able to give them not only the academic foundation they need, but we've been able to give them the spiritual foundation they need. And in the world we live today, if you don't have a spiritual foundation, uh, you're, you're sunk. Uh, and so uh, I'm just thankful for Mrs. Vickers and uh, Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Hill, who have worked uh, with your children uh, throughout the year. And uh, we're going to have a word of prayer, and then I'll turn it over to Mrs. Vickers. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for uh, this time that we can celebrate. We thank you uh, for all that you've done for us through this school year and all the things you've brought us through safely. I pray, Lord, this will be an enjoyable time as we uh, acknowledge and recognize the accomplishments of these boys and girls. We thank you for each one of them. And Lord, I pray that you will Take these young lives while their hearts are tender and help them, Lord, to follow hard after thee. We pray, Lord, you'll just bless this evening in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I'd like to welcome our kindergarten class.
All right, so I would like to welcome everybody to kindergarten graduation. Mr. Fitch works with the big people, so he talks way better to big people than I do, so bear with me. Um, so we're going to start our program today. We walked into You've Got a Friend in Me, which is an important song for our class because we learned in kindergarten how to be friends to each other, how to love one another, how to take care of our friends and lift our friends up instead of putting them down. And we watch Toy Story on fun days like Christmas break. And let's see, our graduation week, we got to watch Toy Story too. So it kind of goes with our class theme this year. So I'll go ahead and have you guys stand. This year we learned very important things. We learned all the letters of our alphabet, upper and lowercase, and the sounds that go with those. We learned a port, an important alphabet song that we learned this year to help us remember all of our letters. Some letters are consonants, and we learn that some letters are vowels. We also learn that there are seven days in the week. We learned that that was important because God created the world in seven days. <clears throat> we also learned the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, we learned important things in math as well. I think everyone got to the 100 club this year, which was being able to count all the way to 100. We spent several weeks in the teens because for some reason 11 to 20 is very difficult in kindergarten. But we all managed to learn all of our numbers this year. We learned how to count by tens. And we learn how to count all the way to 100. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. <laughs> all right, and I would ask, we learned Three pledges this year, two of them we're going to do with you today. So if everyone would like to rise and face the American flag. Boys and girls, what hand do we place over our heart? Our right hand, that's right. If you'd like to help our kindergartners out, you can say it with us. I pledge allegiance. We'll also say our Christian pledge today. So if you'd like to turn and face the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance. All right. 
We learned important Bible verses this year. One of our very first Bible verse, verses that we learned was, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on the, thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. So in kindergarten, we learned the King James Version, but we also, more importantly, focused on the, e the English Standard Version, EST, um, so that the kids could really comprehend the Bible verses. Because what I was seeing is that the King James Version, they could memorize it, but then I asked them, what does that mean? And they would look at me like deer in headlights. So we started really digging into the Bible verses about what do they mean? What does that mean for us? So we learned that if we trust the Lord in all situations, even in situations that we don't necessarily like, that he will always direct us down the path that we need to be going down. So we have a little song about trusting in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. And we learn that it's important to always bless our food. So we learned two fun prayers that we sang before lunch every day. The first one went like this. And in Mrs. Hook's class, I always enjoyed listening to them sing You Are My Sunshine. It was one of the, my most favorite songs to listen to all the kids sing You Are My Sunshine. Their voices sound so adorable. So this year, instead of repeating the song, we took that tune and we changed the words. Look at all the things that we've come along. So we learned many different Bible verses. We learned many different Bible stories. We took the time to make sure that the kids were comprehending those Bible lessons and what they meant for us. So here are some of the things that we took that we'll take with us to first grade.
And our last was, we will listen and pay attention, Proverbs 4, 1 through 2, which was Liam's. He couldn't be here with us tonight. He's still battling the sickness. So some important things we learned this year was also that we learned to read. So a lot of your kids came to me in the beginning of the year, and some of them knew their whole alphabet. Some of them didn't. Some of them knew a few sounds here and there. Some of them knew no sounds yet. So we started from scratch. We learned all of our sounds. Then we started mushing those sounds together and we started to read. So a quick little story. Aiden was probably my most frustrated little kiddo in the beginning of the year because he kept saying, Mrs. Vickers, I cannot read. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. So stubborn about it. And I said, Aiden, you can. You know all the sounds. So we took a simple word and we tried to blend them together and he would say, k at, but then he wouldn't mush it together. So frustrated, I'm like, what am I gonna do with this kid? I cannot get him to blend the sound. I know he can do it. So one day I prevent, printed a bunch of environmental print. So if you don't know what that is, it's signs like Taco Bell, Walmart, Kroger, that's called environmental print. So I printed those for him and I walked in the room and I stuck them on the wall. Aiden, do you remember this? <laughs> and he walked in the room and he goes, hey, I've been there, that's Taco Bell. That's Walmart. And I said, Aiden, do you know what you just did? And he said, no. And I said, you just read. And the look on his face, I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> the look on his face was this, this astounded, I cannot believe I just read that. Like, that's called reading. I did that. And that's why I teach kindergarten. Because that is the best look. And every kid gets it. And it's usually in the fall. And I get to see their little faces light up. And at the end of the year, we open a book. And they read one of their very first readers. And they just look at me like, hey, I did that. And that is the best thing for a teacher. So that's why I love kindergarten. So with that said, I'm going to ask that. I have a poster that we wrote that was just for fun. It's nothing important. But I have two readers that I would like to read something that they've never read before to just show you how good they are. So keeping in mind, in the beginning of the year, they, most of them only knew their letters, maybe a few sounds. So Riley, would you like to come up and read the first sentence? to do our diplomas um, after that I'll let you guys applaud for everyone and then we'll have one more song for you before we leave All right, so we're going to go ahead and call each kiddo one at a time. So, guys, when we call you up, stand for a minute with Mr. Fitch and I so your parents can snap a picture. And remember, what do we do with our diplomas? Put them under our chair. Put them under our chair. All right, so my first kiddo I'm going to call up was my one that was most frustrated in the beginning of the year but has made a ton of progress with reading. He's my one that would sit and just ponder over a word forever and I would say just say it out loud and then he'd say it out loud and he'd get it and now he's one of my best readers so Aiden Dutchover look at mommy for a picture all right my next kid
kiddo was definitely the spunk in our classroom. She was our fun, energetic. She always had something silly to say. Sometimes she would make fun of Mrs. Vickers if I went outside for recess and my hair got blown everywhere. She'd say, Mrs. Vickers, your hair is crazy. She was always a very good friend in our class, so please congratulate Alana Hill. We worked very hard on this handshake, so. <laughs> All right, my next kiddo, he's uh, my fun one. He loves building towers. Him and Scarlett have formed a special bond this year. They really enjoy each other's company. <laughs> this is Owen Miller. All right, my next kiddo, she always came in every morning and she was so interested in socializing and it was hard to get her to stay on task in the morning because they always had something exciting to say to each other. So I'm guessing Pastor can probably tell me who this one is. <laughs> so I'd like to welcome Scarlett Whitmer. And one thing about Scarlett, she is one of my best readers. She will, one day I sent her mom a picture because she just sat down. She's got a book out of the reading corner and she just sat down and read it. Like there was no question. There was no Mrs. Vickers. How do I sound this out? So I was really impressed with that. All right. My next one is Liam. He's not with us today because he's sick, but he was definitely our fun kiddo in the class. He was always making the kids very excited. My next kiddo was my other talker. You put these two together, you're not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> and her mom warned me in the beginning of the year. She said, she won't stop talking this whole summer, you're really gonna have to get on her. So the first couple weeks, she made me clip her down and I had to be mean and it was not fun. <laughs> so we learned when it's time to talk and when it's time to not. But during that time, because she's such a great talker, she did phenomenal at show and tell. She's a great reader and she was always a very kind friend. She always had the right thing to say if someone was upset. So please welcome Riley Bell. All right. My next kiddo came to us in January. She came when I was on maternity leave and I just got to know her in March when I came back. And I have to give her mom some credit, which, oh, yep, I have to give her mom some credit because I thought all along she came from public school, but she didn't. She came from being homeschooled. And she was right up to speed with all of my best readers. She came in and she was reading things and she, uh, you could put anything in front of her and she would sound it out and get it. So her mom did a phenomenal job. And since she's been with us, she's grown even more. She is very well behaved. She tries to get everybody in line with doing the right thing. She does not like if someone is not doing what they're not supposed to be doing. <laughs> so please welcome Brooke Noble. All right, last but not least, this kiddo, I'm gonna try not to cry again, was my sweet little girl because she came in lots of mornings when mommy dropped her off. She did not like separating from mommy. So it was a lot of tears and a lot of crying and a lot of being upset, but she learned that when she came to Mrs. Vicker's room, she would come and she would hug me. And I learned very quickly that I'm not allowed to release the hug. She has to be the one to release the hug. So if we're there for 10 minutes, you just gotta, you gotta do it. So we stood and we hugged at least two days a week until she calmed down 
And then she was ready for her day. She always is very fun with everybody else, and she was always a very good friend. She helped anyone if they were hurt. She was very concerned if we had someone go home sick, and she always tried to take care of other people. She had a very warm heart. So please welcome Marley Malvin. All right, so before we go today, we have one more special song for you. So would you guys like to rise? can take a quick picture before we leave and parents when we dismiss I'm gonna have the kiddos go out and if you guys will stay we're gonna play the um, slideshow one more time and I ask there's one flower for each child so if you want to have like maybe just all the moms grab a flower um, for your kiddo and then you can pick them up from the classroom after the program <coughs> and when you came in the chapel door you should have saw all the posters if you want to look at those and in the room right across we have refreshments cookies cupcakes please go in and get some there's lots <laughs> all right if you would like to please well or er, join me rather in applauding our class of 2033 <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I want to tell you, uh, this is the first year that I've had chapel with the preschool kindergarten every week. <laughs> Before this, we did every other week. Now I know why. <laughs> no, I have really enjoyed these children. They're wonderful. Um, but when they first come, it, I have to almost stand on my head to get them to listen. And by the end of the year, they were listening. Uh, they were going through the Bible stories. They ho hopefully, they came home to teach you some songs. Uh, they love to sing the songs. We have a good time in chapel. But can I tell you from, from my perspective, I, I really appreciate your willingness to send your kids here to Fayette Christian School. I've been here a long time, seen a lot of things, and I, I see the value so much in the Christian education that we can provide, but we are a tool in your hand. We are here uh, so that we can help you, and we're just so thankful for you and so thankful for all that you do to make this possible. So thank you very much. Let's have a closing word prayer, and then I'll start that, and then you'll be dismissed. All right, Father, thank you so much for your love to us. Thank you for these parents, these grandparents, these friends that have come tonight to see the progress of these children as they went and graduated kindergarten. Lord, it, it seems like it's been a long year, but before they know it, they'll be sitting here watching them graduate from high school. Lord, we thank you for the heritage 
that you give these children, that they have parents and grandparents that love you and that are willing to send their children here to Fayette Christian School. Father, I pray that you would bless each and every one. Thank you for Mrs. Vickers and Mrs. Hill. We thank you uh, for Mrs. Brown. We thank you for Mr. Fitch and all the faculty and staff that had a part this year. Father, we just thank you for all that you have done. Lead us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.